I think watching how people react, I think even though I'm really interested currently in abstract mediums and abstract representation of images, I still like a certain level of clarity or emotion to be evoked that's like consistent. With this medium, while I was drawn to it, is it's such a potential to oppress upon people in a very positive way. And I believe, you know, media is very intentional about impressing upon our behavior and our beliefs. And I'm someone, we all have our own beliefs, and I'm someone who wants to put out positivity in the world. So I was like, I want to do something really positive. I really believe in creative expression. I really believe in imagination um, and craft. So it's just... It's really a, a, just a practice that I'm always, I'm always learning something new. I'm always, you know, finding a new, you know, um, it's like a constant evolving as mm-hmm. human. And so it's like being me for me, being human and, and being an artist um, are are the same. thinking about like the beautiful Capiz um, chandelier that used to hang in in my Lola's house Mm -hmm. and um, that's a deep significance to me but like I'm also thinking about like art making in general how art making can be powerful and it can be abstract and it doesn't necessarily have to be really didactic for me like embracing a personal narrative is like a little bit harder and I'm sure it's harder for every artist you know and I um, it's been a blessing to be able to try to think about these things mm-hmm. and my relationship to this Capiz chandelier. And like... But there's something beautiful about just the, the science of it. Yeah. It's like it takes work mm-hmm. to grind these things out and you got to do it, you know, and it becomes this very meditative process. Mm-hmm. But there's a point where it saturates. And, and the colors shift, the frequency shift, the viscosity shifts, mm. and it just becomes this magical thing um, that you just want to eat. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of like, like, oh, it just looks yeah. so, so luscious. Yeah. So it was just this, this beautiful, you know, uh, process of just learning. like there's always a conversation of social justice, uh, environmental um, consciousness, and uh, personal growth in my work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all of that stuff is interconnected. So even though a lot of my work is very intuitive and I try to keep it inspiring and uh, I want it to uplift people, you know, and make them feel a little weird and crazy. What I enjoy in the process of doing the community art is just the fact that I get to be an audience member almost at the end, like to make it so distant and separate from me that at the end of it, I actually get to enjoy it with everybody else. And like, I don't have to feel like I claim like whatever it is I created. I want to experience it in a way like I know what's in my head. You know, I know what I want to see, but I want to know what other people are are interested in, in seeing and what we can create together in this, like, spontaneous, like, I like the chaos of it. The chaos is my favorite.